Simply Stacey YouTube channel. Um, it is Saturday morning and I have sorority meeting and then I have um, meet up with my girlfriend I think around 4 o'clock today. So I sorority meeting at 10 a.m. and then I have to meet up with my friend. It is currently snowing. I have just finished my hair. I'm about to shoot a really quick YouTube video and then I am going to get dressed so that I can um, go ahead and get ready to go and i won't be late it is 9 22 so i'm already on the verge of being late but i gotta do it so here is outside i just want to give you guys a quick view out my window snow everywhere okay so i'll catch you guys later i'm gonna be doing a day in the life thank you for tuning in to the Simply Stacy YouTube channel. Thank you so much to my 98 subscribers. I'm almost at 100. I cannot wait until I get to 100. So, hey, share, tell your friends, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, guys, so I just finished shooting my video. It is on my new favorite accessory. I don't know if you guys know what it is, but either way, either you saw the video or you will see the video and you'll get a chance to find out for yourself. But I have to get out of here because I'm going to be late for sorority meeting find some snow boots i have on just all black this all black dress i'm gonna put it on with a pair of boots um i may or may not change out of my snow boots it's currently snowing i don't think it has any plan to stop in the near future so i'll see you guys later okay guys so needless to say because of the snow continue on i-94 west for 19 miles but not just because of the snow, we also know it's a little bit partially due to me shooting a YouTube video before coming. But either way, I wanted to do a day in my life and I just had some time to film content, which normally for me is on the weekends, um, Saturdays and Sundays, or I'm actually off of my um, official job every other Friday typically now i feel like i have been working so much uh, this month and last month but that's only because i took that two-week vacation to malaysia and bali so i kind of switched my off day so that i wouldn't be out of the office for extended periods of time or you know sporadically once i returned so i actually have worked i feel like for the last month straight without being off a day which meant it took away my Friday where I get errands done, um, clean up around the house, do laundry, and also shoot my YouTube content and edit my videos. So I've been trying to work that in where I can because I do want to continue to give you guys content on a consistent basis. I always scheduled, I always had in my mind maybe about once or twice a week and i have come up with my new 2020 schedule which is every other day um i do feel like you guys enjoyed when i was doing vlogmas and i posted every single day but that is a bit much due to the fact that i actually have a full-time job and um yeah it's just not enough hours in the day but um, my trip to bali and malaysia gave me so much content that i actually haven't had to shoot very very much since I've returned however that is coming to an end I have some videos that I still need to edit and I am still filming content as um, the mood hits if you guys want to see something in particular please let me know I will try to continue to do a day in my life I know you guys kind of like vlogs um, some more fashion stuff coming your way I just received a huge box. I will be doing a try on haul. Um, actually, you guys may see that first. I'm not sure which order that I will post these videos. But yeah, I did get my first package from Shein. And you guys have to wait to see my results. See if I like the items or see if I, you know, um, if it was a dud or if it was actually a good, good, good thing. So, um, yeah, I am just driving to sorority meeting. I have about 20 minutes to go. 
so I thought I would just sign on really quickly, give you guys a shout, and I will be busy um, the majority of the morning. I am starving. I did not grab breakfast. Normally, I would have gotten um, a green smoothie, but I haven't prepared any for. I would get. Um, I have this vegan plant-based protein powder that I can just mix with um, 12 ounces of water, shake it, shake it, shake it in my shaker bottle, my blender bottle from, where did I get that blender bottle from? At the moment, I can't remember, but they have them all over. You can get them from Amazon. So since I don't have that, I am going to sorority meeting and they always have a breakfast spread. However, I am running way behind, so I may not even get a chance to get that place. They have donuts and eggs and grits and um, oatmeal and fruit and so I can't eat there. Typically I like to go ahead and get my screen smoothie or my green shake because most times I'm on a diet um, or I am watching what I eat so I try not to do that because if I go to that table I'm definitely going to get pastries. I'm going to get donuts. I am going to get cookies because I am a sweets girl. Sweets are my weakness. Typically, I try not to even um, buy sweets from my house because honestly, if they're there, I'm going to continue eating them until they're gone. That's no way to live your life, guys. So if you learned anything from me today, please stay away from the sweets. You know, they say do everything in moderation. When it comes to that, I really don't have an off switch. I just continue to eat. If there's a, a cake in my house, I'll take a slice. I'll go upstairs. When I come back down and walk past it, I'll get another slice. I mean, it's really bad. So I just typically choose not to keep that stuff in my house. Um, I have been having huge sweets cravings um, this week. So I've stopped and got candy bars or gotten them at work from the snack shop, but I have to get it together. I have a sister that was engaged on New Year's Eve. And her wedding, guys, that was New Year's Eve of 2019 into New Year's 2020. And her wedding is June, what is it, 6th and 7th? Yes, so she is getting married. She wasted no time in planning a whole wedding within six months. And I am in her wedding, so I have to get my life together. I cannot be her fat sister in the wedding. Okay, guys, I'm just joking. I won't say that. But uh, yeah, I just want to feel good and look good. And, you know, she's having two different weddings. So she is marrying a Nigerian. And so they will have a traditional Nigerian wedding on the first day, I think that Friday. And then they'll have a full on um, white wedding, is what they call it. But I guess it's an Americanized wedding. So I'm super excited to just be a part of such a rich culture, the Nigerian part, learn more about it. My new brother-in-law will be, I mean, he is, he's not will be, he is um, Nigerian. And so that is super exciting. And we get to wear like Geely hats and get our dresses custom made. And I'm super excited about it. I actually just sent in dress style that I chose and my Julie hat style that I chose and I for sure will be filming guys so you guys will definitely get a chance to see that if you've never experienced um, the Nigerian culture or um, their traditional wedding style and celebrations then you guys will get a chance to experience it with me in June um, yeah, so that is super exciting and that's some content I cannot wait to share with you guys. I can't wait to experience it myself, honestly. Um, yeah, my sister follows a lot of uh, Nigerian YouTubers, so she tells me stuff. Um, my sister Casey, the one that lives here. The one that's getting married is my sister Tiffany, um, and she is out of Atlanta, but the wedding is in Miami where her fiance is I'm from. So that too will be super exciting. So I'll be in Miami in June. So that's a trip I have to look forward to. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited and I can't wait. I know I'm doing a lot of talking guys, but it's basically because I am on a commute um, to Detroit. So I live in the suburbs and my commute to the city where my 
um, chapter is the Alpha Kappa Alpha Foundation is located in the city of Detroit. So I do have a little drive and actually the roads are pretty clear on the highway. Um, it is still currently snowing. One of the things I found so unusual when I moved to Michigan, um, because I don't know if you guys know, but I'm originally from Illinois. Actually, most of my followers are from Illinois because, you know, your first followers are friends, family, and, you know, friends of friends and friends of family. So a lot of you probably do know that I'm from Illinois. However, when I moved to Michigan, it would snow so much and they would never clean the streets. And I was always like, what is going on? But I guess it may have been a rule that they don't clean the streets until the snow stops falling. And anybody who lives in colder climates, you know that snow can keep falling continuously for hours and even days. And so it was just the most bizarre thing because I feel like in Illinois, they frequently clean the streets, you know, regardless of if the snow was still coming or not. And, you know, they put the salt down and all that stuff. But yeah, that's one of the things I did not um, know that they did here in Michigan. Um, I've currently been in Michigan now 11 years. I think I'm working on my 12th year um, here. And yeah, I still like it. I guess it snowed in Illinois, um, Southern Illinois, which is where I'm from, and then Northern Illinois, or where I went to um, my undergraduate university, um, University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. I'm about two hours from Chicago, so yeah, definitely snow there. I feel like um, where I am located, we have very, very similar weather to Chicago. Normally, if it's really cold there, it's really cold here. If it's snowing there, it's snowing here. And I actually live off of a lake, and you know, there's the lake effect, which is why they call Chicago the Windy City. So I feel like we have very similar climates here. Summers in Chicago are awesome. Summers in Detroit are also awesome. It gets nice and warm and, you know, it's really fun. The only problem is that summers don't last very long, which, you know, it's kind of a bummer because summer is my very, very favorite season. Love summer weather, love summer, you know, times to go on vacation, beach places, rooftop bars, and you know, it's just so much to do in the summer. However, summers here aren't very long, which is why you guys will see that I travel to warm climates frequently because I just love a beach. I love hot weather. Um, my favorite fashion season is actually fall. Yes, I love fall fashion. I love knee-high boots and um, the oranges and the yellows and you know, the, the rustic colors, warm tones, fall color leaves. Love fall fashion. You know, a nice little jacket. You know, to put on a whole coat. But there again, in Michigan, falls are short-lived. Winter comes quickly. Um, but I do enjoy it while I can. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go, to go, gonna go ahead and focus on the road because it is currently snowing. And I will catch you guys uh, either on the way into my sorority meeting or after. It is cold, so I can't say that I will be filming the whole time. So I did forget my gloves at the house. So I will have to walk into the building and I'm sure I'll be walking from a distance since I'm running behind. But yeah, so I will chat with you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so. You can see it's snowing and I am bundled up. I am walking into the building. Let's go ahead and put my hood on. Snow is coming down. Okay guys, I'm done with sorority meeting. It is almost noon and I headed back to my car. I just started it because with all the snow, I don't want to have to clean off my windshields too much. But the snow has actually let up some. It's not as coming down as um, heavy as it was 
before. I think I'm gonna go hit, hit the show. I was um, out of the country when Bad Boys 2 came out. So everybody I would have gone to see a movie with has already gone to see it. So there's a show that starts at 11.55 and I think I may have time to make it. So that's just the plan. chapter meeting. We wrote letters, love letters to a soror and we got them on our way out. So mine says, dear soror, you're a beautiful, enjoy the day. Love soror Anna, how cute is that? They didn't know who they were writing it to. Hey guys, my movie started probably 2, I think it's for 11.55, it is 11.57, so I made it in time, you know they have all the commercials, I am sad because I took my blanket, I used to have a blanket in my car, in my truck for the movies, I took it out, but that's okay, still make it work. See that line? It's pretty long, but I am an AMC Stubbs Premier Rewards customer, so I can get in front of everyone to get my popcorn. So I'm ready to go, and they're still in line. So AMC Premier Rewards. Okay, guys, I'm going in. Okay, guys, I am leaving the movie theater. I did fall asleep briefly but I got the gist of the movie it was pretty good um, I know I'm way behind but I give it two thumbs up Martin Lawrence and Will Smith together it's um, always a good time I am going to grab something really quickly to eat because um, I have to meet my friend trying to me for dinner and I think about four o'clock, so I'm just gonna grab a sandwich from somewhere. I really am craving the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich because my sister had one yesterday and it looked so good. So, so it took me no time to get my spicy chicken sandwich from Popeye's. There was nobody in line. There was, shoot, I gave the lady my car and it was already handing me my chicken sandwich. So they are definitely, I'm much quicker about this process and less people are so gung-ho on going and getting it than they were when it first happened. I would be driving by Popeye's and the line uh, of cars would be all the way down the street and I'm like, okay, I can't even do this today. So yeah, it has changed. Um, I do like the sandwich. I've had it a couple times, probably a few times at this point. But I never even think to go and get it. But yesterday when my sister had it, it just reminded me that I haven't had one in a while. So I did get that. It wasn't too bad. I think it was like $4.23 because I just got the sandwich. But I'm going to eat that. I'm headed home. And then later on today, I'm going to meet up with um, my friend. So I'm meeting with my friend Chantel. That is my battle buddy. That's what I call her. Um, she and I went to Afghanistan back in 2013 for six months together. And basically while we were there, we had each other's bags. Um, so yeah, that's why she gets that term of endearment. We are not in the military, but we did go to um, Kandahar, Afghanistan as civilians. And yeah, so we built a stronger bond than the one we already had. We have not caught up in a very, very long time. So, yeah, I'm excited to catch up with her and see how she's doing. I think either between her traveling for work or me just traveling um, in general, we have not seen each other probably, has it been a month? At least two to three weeks. So that would be um, pretty cool for us to hang out, catch up, have dinner, maybe a drink, I don't know. But yeah, so that is how I'm mostly spending my Saturday. Um, in the meantime, I have about, uh, not even two more hours actually. So like maybe an hour and a half before we meet up. So I'm probably going to try to edit a video because I have to post one today. So yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Hi guys, I am in the car. I am headed to meet my friend for dinner. We're going to Logan's Roadhouse. 
um something quick it's up the street it is a saturday it's about um real close to six o'clock that's the time we're meeting and hopefully there is not like a long wait hopefully there is seating that's kind of why we just picked some place um and maybe not a lot of people are going to go to um so hopefully fingers crossed there isn't a large wait but yeah i don't even know if there's anything continue actually. on jefferson avenue for a half mile If there's anything on Logan's menu that I actually love to eat dessert wise or food wise um, I'll just have to play it by ear and see what they have the one thing that I do love from Logan's is their prickly pear margarita it and is pink and it has like a pink salted rim and it's very delicious but either way we'll have a good conversation and we'll have a chance to catch up and that is all that matters so I will talk to you guys later. Okay guys, I don't know what we were thinking. Logan's parking lot was packed. So we came next door to Ruby Tuesday. So see what they have. I'm gonna have dinner and I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I am done with dinner with my friends and I am headed home. It has been a long day. I am super tired. I fell asleep a little in the movie theater i was so tired when i came home but i knew i had to go back out so i did not get to go to sleep but i did have a really cool day very productive had sorority meeting and then you know catching up conversations and cocktails with my girlfriend um so that was cool my sister has the flu so i am taking her some food hopefully she isn't starving since i have been gone majority of the day but Either way, I had a really good day. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Okay guys, I finally made it home for the day. I had quite the experience at Ruby Tuesday. So I ordered, I said, you know what? I'm not too hungry, I'm gonna have an appetizer. So I ordered some wings and I ordered dessert. And I said, you can bring them out together because you know, I made my sweet and salty together. We ordered a drink, so she brings our drinks out. Time goes by, time goes by. Then she comes out to say, we don't have any chicken wings, I'm sorry. I'm like, well, can I get a menu? Because at this point, I was ready to eat. Like, I thought food was coming, it was appetizer. No, no wings. So I said, okay. Um, she was like, something about you You still want your dessert or, or something? And I'm like, no. She said, well, you said you wanted the brought out with the wings. Exactly. So if you have no wings, I don't want the dessert right now. Because I'm probably going to have to order a meal. And that's going to ruin my appetite. So I said, let me see the menu. I'm looking at the menu. She brings my dessert out, which was a skillet cookie with this melted ice cream on top. Because I didn't want your ice cream to be continue to melt. So needless to say, I didn't even order a meal because at this point, I'm about to eat my dessert and ruin my appetite. So yeah, needless to say, I had a drink and I had dessert. Kind of hungry. Whatever. I brought my sister some food. I'm probably just going to go to bed. But other than that, I had a good, good day. Had a super good day. Met up with my friend, good conversations, cocktails, and yeah. So I am about to do some editing i have one video to post today and then i am going to get ready for church in the morning so you all have a good one i'll see you soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the simply stacy youtube channel